Here's a question. Do you ever use the Neutrality Act? Well, you probably say no since you can't activate it after switching it to a different ideology. Except, I made this video because a friend I have, who played Reservation earlier than me, still does this move. Welcome, my PC sucks. Anyways, I have reached 250 subscribers and I don't know what to do, but the simple move my friend does makes a perfect person for a 250 number. So I basically made this video to tell him how to use the neutrality act properly, but you guys can still follow along. And no, I'm not saying it's 100% useless. First, what is the neutrality act and what does it do? I'm assuming everybody watching the video has a common knowledge of Resonation, but to put it simply, it's a policy that you can activate for 100 political power and an upkeep of 1.5 political power every 5 days. Oh, and you must be non-aligned. Alright, time for his features. After activating this policy, you will gain 3 buffs out of 4 consequences. You will get an increase of 25% more tax. This is actually really helpful for smaller nations with lower population to get more money except if you rely on trades but either that is not much for an average game if you get a high stability increase of maximum taxation law you will also get a stability <laughs> of 25 i'm not sure what this means but i've always thought this was another way to increase stability like 25 percent from consumer goods and finally a resistant 100 percent which is very epic for doing a bit of trolling what resistant means that it will make the troops take longer to capture a city this is very good for our RAM players who decide to declare war on every country. Those are very good pros for the policy, but we have to see the cons to really decide if it's good or not. The downside to this policy is an increased amount of justification. And that's the whole list. Yeah, it does suck that the justification time is worse than democracy, but it does make sense if you're supposed to be neutral. Well, you're not supposed to be attacking countries if you're neutral. If you are going to deal with 300% more justification time, then I would suggesting declaring war on bigger countries to make the time to clear war count. <coughs> Alright, after all that waffle, let's finally explain to my friend. Now, if you for some reason couldn't read the name, it says Neutrality Act. It should be obvious to use it if you want to be neutral. For 100% of my viewers, my friend uses Neutrality Act just to increase tax and stability. He actually doesn't mind the increase of justification time until when he needs to declare war. Like bro, just use ideologies that work on factories they, since they benefit more than policies. Oh, and I forgot to mention, despite him playing the game before me, I got to play more than him so he doesn't really know how to get a huge economy. I am terrible at explaining how he plays the game but it's very confusing. But at least he's better than noobs in the game. And for the people who use this policy, I highly don't recommend it. Even going democratic is a better choice than neutrality act. Firstly, resistance can be gained from technology. Yes, I know it's more of a late game technology since no one gets that far, but either way you could just build forts and place troops on it. Secondly, tax and stability benefits aren't as much as other ways. You gain 25% more tax and an increase of 25 stability, which isn't that much compared to other alternatives such as trading, consumer goods, and ideology. Thirdly, it's pretty self-explanatory why it's bad, but the 300% justification time. And finally, it's very expensive to upkeep and activate. This causes where you can't use other policies and can't switch ideology quickly. So basically, there are literally better alternatives than Neutrality Act and alternatives that are better in the long term. Now, let's just say you want to turn on a pointless policy to use. So, when you start off a country, you most likely be non-aligned, for example, Europe. Europe is a good example when to use it. Whenever you start a game, you always start with not enough political power to change ideology. So what you do is just play normally, but a nation declare war on you, like Poland and Germany declared war, then you may turn on the neutrality act on. And that's the only scenario I can think of using this policy, since democratic nations do a better job at neutrality. Then that may be a terrible idea since there are literally other policies that are better. Plus, neutrality act uses almost all your early game political power gain. In conclusion, I don't know if this whole video was just me ranting about the policy in the game no one uses, 
Thanks for 1050 subscribers, and thanks for my PC sucks for not letting me use his name, but his channel is in the description. And I hope this video was informative for the one person who uses it, and I kinda rushed this video. Bye.